page navigation generics continued in our last video when we were writing the code we were getting some error something like this as you can see while we were trying to call the get instance method that we created in our earlier video we were trying to access that from the base step from the step class and we got this error and the reason is because the get instance method is actually sitting within the base page class and that really makes sense because the page object models code should be sitting in the base page class and should not be sitting in the base class so that the separation will be much meaningful and it is also the industrial standard way of making things more meaningful so how to segregate this particular code to work something like this so this is what is our expectation but we were not living up to that expectation and we were getting some error so in order to get rid of this problem, we are going to change the order of our code. If you remember, so far in our code until last video, we created a base class and then we created two classes. One is the base page class and base step class. And both of these classes were inheriting the base class as the parent class. But apparently, while we try to access the base step from the step definition of the spec flow in our code, we were getting the error as shown before. So in order to get rid of this problem, we are going to change the order something like this. As you can see, now the base page is going to be the parent for the base step class. And you can ask me, why is that changed suddenly? And what is this going to be really changed in order for our code to execute? And is this really making any sense? Well, of course, yes. As you can see, the base page and steps are going to be working hand in hand. And making the base page as the parent for the base step is still really making more sense than creating the base as the parent for the base step or taking the method out from the base page and putting that into the base class is going to be less sensible than making in this order. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right. So this is our code that we were executing until our last video. And we saw that there is an error while trying to uh, get the get instance uh, method. And you can see that the get instance method does not exist even in the current mobile page. But even if you try to access with the current mobile page, it's not really going to make any sense because we have to do something like this. Get instance of the page, something like the splash page, something like this. And so that it can create the uh, instance for the splash page as we did in the other codes in the other pages. Something like this page, click login. We can see that we have returned the get instance of the home page. So that's what exactly we're going to try to establish in here, but we couldn't be able to access this particular method. So what I'm going to do is this. I am going to make our base page as the parent page for the base step class over here instead of the base class. I'm going to save it. That's the only very, very simple change. It's kind of architectural change in our code, but this change is going to be really, really very, very helpful. As you can see that the code that we were getting error before is now working fine without any problem. So now if I try to execute this particular code, you can see that the code is going to execute and the test is going to pass. So this is a very small change, but you can see that the code is really making a lot of sense this time. So this is the way that we can keep on building our framework to make it more meaningful and understandable so that this code can be extended based on the requirements that you have. So as of now with this whole videos that we have discussed so far, we have created this base class, base page class and base step class. And we could able to run the test without any problem using generics concepts and making the page navigation and page object model more generic. So in our next video onwards, we're going to start working with the Appium utilities that you can see in here. So we're going to call this in a different way. And also we're going to make use of our generics concepts once again to make this code more readable and understandable. Because as you can see, the code is kind of growing much faster and it is not really easily maintainable because you can see that there are so many repetitive codes here, which is copy pasted 
almost all the methods and it is not much generic as well.